In this video, I want to show you how to fix 40 gate issues related to processes being stuck in the background and not working. For example, if your HTTPS service is not working or your SSH or your IBS engine, any service that is running and it's stuck, it's not working, you can use this method to kill this process or restart it so you can get your access back. For example, right now, you see I'm trying to access the firewall using HTTPS and my custom board and it's saying cannot be reached, it's timing out. In this case, I can restart the HTTPS service so that the firewall can respond again to my request. Right now, I'm logged into the firewall using my body client. So I wanna start by using this command, get system performance top. This will show me all the processes running in the firewall with every process showing the ID next to it the status and how much CPU and memory they are consuming. This is very similar window to the top command you can use in any Linux system. And it shows you things like the IBS engine, the SSH daemon, and the DNS proxy, all different components in the firewall. So in this case, we are looking into the HTTPS. You can actually control C so you can stop it from keep moving. Right now, the HTTPS is using a service ID that is 135. This will be different every time you restart your firewall. So I know right now my HTTPS is not working and I wanna restart the service 135. So the way I can do this, I can do the command diagnose, system, kill, and then the number 11. And then I need to put the process ID of the service that is not working. So in my case, HTTPS was not working, 135, I wanna do 135. And this will restart the service for me. So now if I do the command again, I can go up two more times, get system performance stop. This will show me that the HTTPS is now running at a different process ID. That means the service was killed and restarted. Now it's running at a different ID than 135. So now if I come back here and try to restart, now my service is running one more time. Now in a similar contrast, if I try to kill the SSH service that I am running right now, so in this case, let's do the command one more time and let's try to look in this time for the SSH daemon that is responsible for responding to my terminal in here. So this is the SSH daemon it's running at process ID 237. Now I'm gonna kick myself out by doing this, but I just wanna show you how is it like to restart different processes. So I'm gonna do the command diagnose, system kill 11, 237. This is my static word, and this is the process ID that I found is associated with the SSH daemon. Now once I hit enter, I'm out. I got kicked out of the session, and it's just gonna be a few seconds, but if I try again right now, it's already back up and I'm able to access my firewall using SSH one more time. And that's how you kill processes on 40 gate firewall using the system performance stop and the diagnose system kill command. Thank you for watching.